guys, I'm bringing you my 10, let's say, winter essentials. These are, they're mainly categories, but I have got specific products, but these are the 10 things that when it comes to winter, I bring out every single year because I need them in order to make me look semi-decent. So first things first, you've got to get your skin right. If it's dry and flaky and horrible, which mine always is, I need to sort of eradicate that the best I can before I even attempt to put makeup on. So for me, that is using a daily scrub. This is the Orange Origins Ginseng Refreshing Scrub Cleanser. I love this one because I can use it quite a few times a week. I mean, it does say daily because it is a gentle one, so I know I can get away with using this a few times a week to keep the dry skin at bay. I know there are chemical ones out there and people say you shouldn't use like scrubs with actual abrasive things in them, but I have eczema and I need something to, you know, shed the skin, shall we say. So yeah, I absolutely love this one because it's gentle enough to use a few times a week and it just keeps those dry patches at bay. Next step for me, which is a massive step for me, I never miss this out in winter and I use it quite a lot in the summer too and it is a face oil. I absolutely love this one. This is the, ro this is the Pie Rosehip Bioregenerative Fruit and Seed Oil Blend and Vitamin E Facial Oil. This is absolutely gorgeous. I've used tons of facial oils over the years and to be fair, most of them do the exact same thing. They just hydrate your skin. I just really like this one. The orange actually gives you a little bit of a glow. It doesn't make your face orange, obviously, but it does give you a little bit of a glow and it's extremely moisturizing and I tend to stick this on every single night. And if my skin is really bad, I will stick it a couple of times on in the morning as well. But it's not, I mean, obviously I like oil on your face. If you don't like oil on your face, I would avoid it in the daytime. But at nighttime, it's amazing. You'll wake up in the morning and your skin will just feel amazing. And thank you for it because it just slurps up the hydration. So yeah, highly recommend using facial oil after you've washed your face. And then to follow with that with a moisturiser, at night time obviously you use a night cream, but in the daytime I need to make sure I've got a really intensive moisturiser and I'm absolutely loving the Yes to Cucumber Sensitive Skin Daily Calm and Moisturiser. It's, ex it's just like, it's just such a normal moisturiser in terms of consistency. It just smells amazing, but it's extremely hydrating. So you don't want to be caking on a really thick moisturiser in the morning if you're going to put makeup on. But I absolutely love this one because it really sinks in, but it really moisturises my skin. Absolutely love it. And yes, highly recommend moisturising your skin every day. Now all of that won't fix my dry skin. It does help, but... If I've got dry patches, I can scrub them away and they will be back the next day just because I have really dry eczema skin. So I have to go for a primer and these two are kind of mixed together. I mean, any those silicone primers, you know, a lot of people don't like, but I do find they do help in winter to sort of smooth over the dry patches. So I mixed together the Professional and this Lancome one, which I got for my wedding last year. I love them both equally and I can't decide which I like better, which is why I mix them together. But absolutely brilliant i highly recommend wearing primers in winter just like i said just to smooth your skin because if you're putting foundation on really flaky dry skin it does not look good no matter how good your foundation is so definitely get your base right with the moisturization and the primers okay next up is my favorite which is the foundation now i have been loving different foundations throughout the year but when it comes to winter i really like illuminating foundations and one i've been re sort of retesting out this last week or so just because I'm starting to fall in love with another foundation, but I wanted to get some old favourites out and just remembered how much I love them. And this is the Rimmel Wake Me Up Foundation, an oldie but a goodie, one of my all-time favourites, and I have fallen back in love with it this week. And unfortunately, I have used it all up now and I need to go pick up a new one. I was scraping it out and then I knocked the little, you know, extender off, so it's in there somewhere, but I've used it all up. This is my second bottle of this and I will be picking up a third. It's just beautiful, it goes on lovely, it gives you a nice radiance. People, I've heard people go on about like glitter. I do not see this in this. It just makes my skin look woken up, like it says. It is definitely a hangover kind of foundation, a any kind of perk up skin foundation that you want. It's so dewy and it gives a nice medium coverage. And if you were oily, probably not, but if you've got the dry sensitive skin, no, just not sensitive, but if you've got dry skin like me, I highly recommend this one. It just looks flawless and I absolutely love it. Alternatively, I have also been trying this one, which does the same. It's very, very similar. It's probably the, the, the two most similar that I've come across in terms of the radiance. This is the Max Factor Skin Luminizer Foundation. And I've got this in the colour Warm Almond, which is a tad bit too dark for me. And as it's getting you know more winter, it's going to get more dark because I'm getting paler. But this is absolutely gorgeous foundation as well. Very, very similar. But if I had to pick, I do think this one you know, knocks this one completely out. Next up for me is highlighter. I love wearing highlighters in winter. I tend to wear them all year, but in winter, 
I don't know why, I feel like you couldn't get away with more highlight. I don't know what it is. Maybe again, it's the whole perking you up and, you know, it's dim now at like, what, half three in the afternoon. So a little bit of highlight I can go a long way in winter. Now I have absolutely been loving this one. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Power, uh, Ambient Lighting Powder Palette. What, what do you call it? Do absolutely love this, but if I had to pick one, it has to be this. I wore this for my wedding last year. This is the Benefit What's Up Highlighter. I'd seen it for a long time, didn't buy it, and then I just thought I'd try it on before my wedding. Fell in love, wore it on my wedding day, and it is one of the most beautiful highlighters I've ever had. And it's a cream one, which I think goes better with the whole dewy skin. I don't tend to powder my face at all in winter because, again, I just want the dewy look. But this highlighter, it's a champagne, I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up, it's a champagne colour. I have got it on now, but I don't know how well you'll pick it up because I put the teeniest amount on. But it's an absolutely gorgeous champagne highlighter. It's cream formula. You just blend it in and it is absolutely stunning. So yes, highlighter is definitely essential for me in winter. Okay, next up is blush. I wear blush all year round, but the colour blush that I find essential for me in winter is more of the deeper, plummy, kind of brownie almost blushes. I'm wearing one now, and this is an oldie but a goodie. It is the Benefit Dallas blush, which I don't have a big one of. I've only got like a mini in this little set that I got a few years ago, but to be fair, they last such a long time that I don't see the point in buying a big one, but it just looks like that. It's like a sort of a brownie purple with a bit of shimmer in it. It just looks gorgeous. It just warms the skin up without, I don't know, distracting from your lips, which I'll be moving on to in a minute. But another colour, again, is the Benefit. I'm not, you know, I do love, just love Benefit, but they do have really good blush colours. This is Rocketeur, I picked it up last year, and again, it's that similar kind of warm, brownie, purpley colour. This one is very similar to Dallas. It's just the shimmery version, whereas Dallas is a bit more matte. It has got the odd little bit of shimmer, but that's more matte than this. But yeah, these two blushes, they just happen to be benefit by coincidence. I haven't picked them because they're benefit. They're just two of my favourite sort of winter blushes. Absolutely love them. And the reason I go for those coloured blushes is because in winter, for me, it's essential to wear a bold lip. It's not essential, but for me, winter, it's all about the bold lip. I wear less on my eyes, which is why you'll see no eye products in this sort of video, but it's all about the lips. And this one I'm wearing is one of my all-time favourite winter lipsticks, and it is the Revlon Black Cherry lipstick. This is one of those products where a lot of people talked about. It's been a cult product a few years back. Everyone and their dog had this lipstick. So I went out and bought it about three years ago, fell in love with it, and it gets brought out every single year. It is an extremely scary dark lipstick, and you will never, well, to be fair, I have started doing it. You'll never just wear it straight on like that, though it does look amazing. But if you put it on with a brush, you can go for a nice light stain, like just bitten kind of stain, or you can go really, really dark. It's completely up to you, but you can get so many looks out of this one lipstick. It lasts a long time. When you put it on as a light stain and then go over the top later on, it stains all day, or if you just leave it as a light stain, it does stain. It's a brilliant lipstick. It fits so comfortably on the lips. It's just a great color and it's kind of classic. I do think it's a very classic color, but yeah, this is just black cherry. Alternatively, you've seen me wear this. This is the Lip Tart in, oh, Obsessive Compulsive Lip Tart in Black Dahlia. This is the lipstick that I've been wearing over the last few years where I've had dark lips. This is amazing. The only difference with this one is it's not drying, but it's definitely not moisturising. Whereas the Black Cherry, it does feel a bit more moisturising, but obviously all lipsticks don't actually moisturise. This is a bit more, not hard work, but you need to make sure your lips are really smooth before you wear this. But this lasts so long. It is amazing. I definitely want more of these, but if you didn't want to get the black cherry or you're worried about it coming off, this is absolutely amazing staying power, but a great alternative. Otherwise, my third one, which is sort of cheating, but it's the same category. This is the Revlon Just, Bits, Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain in Crush. This is great for beginners who are a bit scared of going for dark lips. I think this is what started me off, actually. I may have picked these up the same year, but... That is it there swatched. That is a lot lighter. As you can see, you can build this up over a few, like you can put it on a couple of hours later, keep topping it up, and it will get darker, but it goes that color straight away and it will stain like that all day. So it's easy, it's very comfortable on the lips because it's a balm stain. And you've probably all tried these, but it's just an absolutely amazing lip product and I highly recommend getting this one as well if the black cherry scares you a bit too much. Another essential related to lips is lip balm. You could not go through winter without a lip balm, especially when you're wearing dark colours like this and that. You have to really prepare your lips. Plus they hurt. If your lips get chapped they really really hurt. So I have, oh my god, I must have probably about 
20, 25 lip balms just scattered around everywhere. I have a drawer full of them, I have some at work, I have each coat. I tend to put a lip balm in the pocket and each bag has a lip balm in it so I know whenever I go out, if I change my bag, change my coat, I've got a lip balm on me. In fact, this one was in my coat pocket the other day, I just quickly pulled it out. But this is the Burt's Bees, this is the original sort of beeswax lip balm, absolutely love these. Oh, this one smells like peppermint. I've probably got about 10 Burt's Bees lip balms, you pick them up in sets over the years, but absolutely love them, but they're essential for prepping your lips and even putting them on just before you apply your lipstick is really, really good as well. What I tend to do is, when I go up in the morning and I moisturise my face, I put my lip balm on straight away, carry on with my makeup, and if you need to take it off, at least your lips has had some moisturisation before you put it on your lipstick. And last but not least is the nail polish. I absolutely love, winter's a bit difficult because I rotate them around quite a bit, but I absolutely love the really dark, sort of vampy kind of colours. I mean, to be fair, I wear any colour nail polish any time of the year, but I like bringing out the deep reds. I don't know what it is about deep red. It's very Christmassy for me, so I don't tend to wear deep red for the rest of the year. I wore red on my wedding day because that was in winter, so absolutely love red. And weirdly, I've just been looking at all my reds and I don't have a deep red. I need to go buy one. But this is, this is the one I picked up, which I absolutely love. This is the shirt. Is it Sesh Beat or just Sesh? It just says Sesh on it, so I'm guessing it's Sesh Beat. And this is Mischievous or Mischievous, however you say it. And this, it looks like that. It looks very, very black, but when you catch it in a light, it's very much the lipstick equivalent of Black Cherry. And I tend to match my lipstick to my nail polish anyway. So if I'm going for a bit more red, I'll have more red. If I go a bit more purple, I'll go more purple. But yeah, I absolutely love vampy nail polishes in winter. And yeah, I haven't painted my nails, but I need to paint my nails. I'm gonna paint my nails that right now. So that is my 10 essentials when it comes to sort of beauty. And I've done this in collaboration with Skin Deep Beauty Blogger and I'll link her video below because she's also done this. And yeah, I hope you go and watch hers because her videos are so informative and I absolutely love her videos. So I'll link that below and I'll see you in my next video. So 